Sim swapping is a serious and increasingly common cybercrime technique that targets individuals' mobile phone numbers to gain unauthorized access to sensitive personal information, financial accounts, and online identities. At its core, SIM swapping exploits the reliance on mobile phones as a primary method of identity verification and communication in our digital lives. The process involves tricking or manipulating mobile network providers into transferring a victim's phone number to a SIM card controlled by the attacker. Once the attacker has control of the victim's phone number, they can intercept calls and text messages, including two-factor authentication codes, reset passwords for online accounts, and effectively take over the victim's digital life. The methods used by attackers to execute SIM swapping vary, ranging from social engineering to technical exploitation, and they often involve a mix of deception, hacking tools, and insider assistance. One of the most common approaches is social engineering, where the attacker impersonates the victim when communicating with the mobile service provider. They may call the customer support line and use convincing personal information obtained through prior research or data breaches to convince the representative that they are the legitimate account holder. This can include the victim's full name, date of birth, address, social security number, and answers to security questions. Sometimes attackers gather this information from phishing attacks, data dumps on the dark web, or from social media profiles. The attacker's goal is to convince the mobile provider to deactivate the victim's SIM card and activate a new SIM card in the attacker's possession. In some cases, attackers may visit the mobile store in person, using fake identification documents or bribing employees to gain cooperation. Insider threats within mobile providers can make SIM swapping easier, as employees with access to account management systems can be exploited to expedite the SIM transfer without the usual security checks. Beyond social engineering, attackers also use hacking tools and malware to gain direct access to the victim's phone or accounts linked to the phone number. Malware installed on a victim's device can silently capture SMS messages or authentication tokens and relay them to the attacker. In other scenarios, attackers compromise the victim's online accounts to disable notifications or change recovery information before initiating the SIM swap, thereby increasing their chances of success. Several tools and platforms facilitate these attacks often found on underground forums or dark web marketplaces where hackers share or sell SIM swapping kits. These kits may include scripts that automate the process of contacting telecom providers, pre-filled forms to submit SIM swap requests, and databases of compromised personal information. Some advanced attackers use custom software that integrates with telecom customer service portals to speed up the fraud process and evade detection. These tools often require knowledge of telecom systems and programming skills, making them more common among organized cybercrime groups. Despite these technical aids, the human element remains the weakest security link. Attackers frequently rely on manipulating customer service representatives through urgency, threats, or convincing stories. They might claim to be locked out of an important business account or in an emergency situation to pressure the staff into acting quickly and bypassing standard verification procedures. The consequences of SIM swapping can be devastating. Once attackers control a phone number, they can reset passwords for email, banking, social media, and cryptocurrency accounts linked to that number. This often results in financial theft, identity fraud, and loss of personal data. Victims may face lengthy recovery processes, including regaining control of their accounts and repairing damage to their credit or reputation. Organizations are also affected, especially those using SMS-based two-factor authentication, which is vulnerable to interception through SIM swapping. As a result, cybersecurity experts strongly advise against relying solely on SMS for critical account security. 
To defend against SIM swapping, awareness and proactive security measures are crucial. Users should avoid sharing personal information publicly and be cautious of phishing attempts designed to steal credentials. Enabling stronger authentication methods such as app-based authenticators, hardware security keys, or biometric verification can reduce reliance on SMS codes. Contacting your mobile carrier and asking for additional account protections, like requiring a PIN or password for any changes, can add a layer of defense. Additionally, monitoring your phone's service for unexpected outages or loss of signal can be an early indicator of SIM swapping. If you suspect you are a victim, immediate action includes contacting your mobile provider to report the issue changing passwords for all linked accounts and notifying your bank or financial institutions. Law enforcement agencies should also be informed to help investigate and potentially apprehend the attackers. In summary, SM swapping is a sophisticated fraud technique blending social engineering, technical hacking, and insider collusion to hijack a victim's mobile identity. The growing dependence on mobile phones for personal and financial security makes understanding these methods essential for everyone. By learning how attackers operate and adopting best security practices, individuals and organizations can significantly reduce the risk of falling victim to this damaging form of cybercrime. Education and vigilance remain the best tools to combat SIM swapping and protect the privacy and security of our digital lives.